Let's talk Flower Shop software and I want to talk you through my exact approach to how to organize your daily flower deliveries and answer all your questions <laughs> about how to organize your shop orders. One of the things that probably surprises florists the most when I talk about how we organized shop orders is how untechnology savvy <laughs> the process is. So when we bought the flower shop back in the day, it did not even have a fancy point of sale software situation. We're talking old school cash register, my friends. But the system that those guys had created for how to organize orders worked. So we came in, we made a few refinements and a few tweaks to it, but it is absolute magic. Particularly if the whole world of technology and software is daunting to you and you're like, I don't even know if I need to use it. But also know if you want to change it, if you want to adapt it, if you want to make it your own, you have full permission to do that. Having managed more than 10,000 transactions a year, it did not fail, my friends, like quite literally. If you are new here, my name is Kathleen and you are in the perfect place if you're a floral designer or a flower farmer who's on a mission to build a profitable business. So in a previous career, I did a lot of work when it came to technology and like fancy platforms and all of these crazy things that I kind of can't even still wrap my head around but one of the best lessons I learned pause for a minute and just ask yourself what is the problem that needs to be solved and then investigate whether that piece of software solves that problem for you lesson number one we just use the generic order form from our local florist wholesaler literally no software no fancy technology no like trying to integrate this thing with this thing. It's a piece of paper and it's not even customized to our business. I literally like would go to the market every single week and I'd pick up a stack if we needed more. I didn't even know that there was alternative solutions. So ignorance is truly bliss in this instance, but I just want you to know absolutely 100% you can work with what you've got. You write the order out and you have one piece of paper. This is how analog this whole system is. And my friends, I know you're gonna be like, oh my God, but what happens if you lose that piece of paper? What happens if it goes missing? Nope. <laughs> It doesn't because of the system that we had in place. So work with what you've got and don't assume that the fanciest technology is the way to make this happen. Lesson number two, there is no one right way. Now I do believe that there is a right way or there is a very strategically sound, savvy, sales, helpful, revenue driving way to take an order over the phone or if somebody walks in and definitely be sure to watch this video and I will talk you through the ins and outs of my money-making sales script when it comes to taking a flower order but from there once you've taken the order I want to give you permission to create a process that works for you a couple things to keep in mind is that when you're in a small town you don't have access to outsourcing your deliveries to a courier company <laughs> so that's one of the biggest differences and why we didn't even need to be embracing technology because we employed the delivery driver ourselves. Sometimes it would be somebody who was rostered in, but many times and most of the time, we actually had a dedicated delivery driver. So I know your situation is going to be different because if you are in a big city or if you're in a town that's at least big enough to have access to some of those courier companies or like specialist flower delivery companies, things might be different. But this is probably one of the advantages of being in a small town is that we hire our own delivery drivers and then we can coordinate the delivery paperwork process with them. And I will tell you that if you're in a big city and you outsource deliveries that you'll probably need to adapt this process because it won't work because then your delivery and your actual order form will just disappear into nothing. So I give you full permission to make this process your own. And I still am a fan. Like I know it sounds crazy. You're like, you must have lost so many orders, Kathleen. Nope. So we had one piece of paper that went from the person took the order, then it moved on to the next step, the next step, the next step. It went out with our delivery driver. They made a note of whether the person was at home. We have like a whole code with our delivery driver around, was the person home? Did they actually receive it? Or did we leave it somewhere? Did we send them a text message? All the things, and then it comes back and it gets put in the pile for the day and then literally put into a shoebox under the till. <laughs> 
I'm telling you guys, you really don't need the fanciest technology. Now, in line with our not tech savvy order process was the fact that the order would come in over the phone on this piece of paper, and then we would put it up on the order board. So when we first took on the shop, this was a very gross <laughs> looking order board, but it was just a giant clip with the orders on it, some notes on each one, and it worked, my friends. We then over time started to iterate, started to change things, came up with a few little tweaks, and then made the order board look a little bit more sophisticated, but still very analog, my friends. So we had a little clipboard. We ordered these little days of the week signs from Etsy. Looks good, but still very analog. So the order would go up on the day of the week. If it's Monday and it's the order is for two Mondays from now, what we actually did was we took the clipboard, put an elastic band around it, the order went behind the elastic band, still on the clipboard, but tucked behind the elastic band so that it didn't get messed up on that day's order. We literally made this up as we went. It is not genius. So I found the whole process of having things up on a board way more helpful than just being like written in a book because then you could see if there was 10 pieces of paper for Friday, you knew that you had 10 orders already ahead of time for Friday. For me, it was just such a better visual picture than just having something written in a book or even if you're looking at your kind of interface on your website or whatever it is that you're doing online, I am a tangible paper person, show me a picture and I love it so much more. One of the best lessons to remember, particularly if you're a floral designer that loves visual things and you're not so good with writing and you're a little bit dyslexic and you're like, I need the actual physical piece of paper. Even if you use technology as a bit of a fail safe for a backup, I do find it super helpful to have the actual physical piece of paper and I give you full permission to create a system that works for you. Every single one of us has a brain that operates slightly differently and some people are super production oriented and some people are super visual and then other people are like in between and if you have a big team or a small team or if it's just you, take any piece of this puzzle that's like, oh that's a really interesting idea, oh I didn't realize it could be that simple add on layers where it feels appropriate to you and really make it your own. But if you're more of a tech person and you've got a system that works, then don't mess it up. And as always, my friends, I hope that this little glimpse into how we used to manage orders has been helpful, giving you a little bit of behind the scenes in terms of the fact that it's not the most sophisticated, but it truly does work. And I also want to let you know that if you want to bust through some of the secrecy and you want to get access to the three secrets revealed, three things I wish I had known when I first started out in my flower business, all you need to do is type in your name and email address, visit the URL for florists.com com backslash secrets and I will send you through my PDF that gives you the three secrets to building a successful flower business in 2022. And as always, my friends, don't hesitate to ask any questions about this very archaic system, but go out there and make your order process your own. Have the most amazing week and I'll talk to you again next week. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.